Hi friends, I'm Joshua. Uh, we're trying a different setup today. I'm gonna become one of those people that has tape marking out their carpet, I can tell. Today I'm gonna be making a Thai-inspired recipe. It's a good weeknight dinner. It doesn't take very long to cook, and it's definitely one that you can tailor as spicy or not as you like. Just gonna get started with the ingredients. I've mise en place, so we're gonna run through everything that you need. 500 grams of chicken mince four eggs, two red onion, two red chilies, two packed tablespoons of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of soy sauce, a fourth of a cup of fish sauce, a third of a cup of peanut oil or another neutral oil, a tablespoon of sesame oil, a fourth of a cup of basil, and then a tablespoon of dry mint and a tablespoon of dry tarragon. In the background, I've got a rice cooker going with our friend, Senior Jasmine Rice. Just gonna get that going since it's gonna take the longest. So the onions just need to be diced. And I'm gonna do this first because once you're ready to go, everything moves quite quickly. That's the onion done, so I'm just gonna give the basil a rough chop. So this is just leftover basil that I had from the meatball episode. It does not last very long in Australia's climate. Uh, I've never had basil wilt as quickly back in the United States. So this is a good recipe if you just wanna use up some leftover herbs. So the last bit of prep work is just to mince up some garlic. So that's everything we need to prep ahead of time. Now we're gonna get started on the chicken. So I want to get a pan going on a medium high heat and let that heat up for a little bit. And then we're going to tip in the tablespoon of sesame oil. Just get that moving around. And once the oil is up to heat, I'm going to tip in all of the chicken mince at once. You want to spread the chicken out and then leave it for a few minutes so that the bottom really gets nice and browned. Avoid the temptation to touch it. In the meantime, in another pan, I'm going to tip in all of the peanut oil and get the stove on a medium heat, medium, medium high. And then we're gonna fry each egg separately and get a nice fried egg to accompany the meal when we're ready to serve. gonna get a grind of salt and pepper on the egg and then you want to take a spoon and kind of baste the oil on top of it just to get the top of the egg nice and crispy too I've got a plate with some paper towel ready for when the eggs finished in the meantime you can break up your chicken a bit more now. The bottom of it should be getting nice and browned, and we're just wanting some of that moisture to get out of the chicken as well before we add the other ingredients. First fried egg is coming along. Once the edges of the egg are starting to get crispy and the yolk is set on top, that's when I take a slotted spoon, drain a bit of the excess oil, and then transfer it to that sheet of paper. And then I'm gonna go on and crack another egg in. Get some salt and pepper on top, and then baste the oil to set the yolk. My chicken is starting to get nice and brown on the bottom. Picking up some color, so I'm gonna go in with the garlic now. Just give that a good stir. My second egg is where I want it. I'm just gonna get this out onto the paper. And we go in with the third egg. The chicken's coloring up nicely, so now we're going to go in with the soy sauce and the fish sauce, as well as all of the onion. Just give that all a nice mix and stir. My third egg's ready to come out. And then we go in with the last one. I'm just going to add in the brown sugar. And I'm also going to snip in my chili. Give that all a stir. 
And last, we're gonna go in with the basil, the tarragon, and the dried mint. My rice just finished, as did my fourth egg, so I'm just gonna get this out. The chicken looks about ready as well. I'm just gonna give it a taste. Just give the rice a stir. inspired spicy chicken with jasmine rice, basil, and fried eggs. Oh, the flavors are so intense. There's a lot of chili, sweet and salty. It's just perfectly balanced. Let's do the egg. Oh, it has a nice runny yolk. I'm a very happy boy. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, subscribe, comment. If you're able to, please also check out the birthday fundraiser that I've got. I'll put a link to that in the description. As always, give me your thoughts, comments, feedback, any ideas, any recipes, things you want me to cook next. It's dinner time. Have a good night.